Hey everybody, here is my first Camtasia tutorial. Actually, I'm a musician, composer and software developer, but here's something I recently discovered in Camtasia 2023 and which I like to share with you. And this is about having multiple spotlight effects on a media in Camtasia. So if you only need one spotlight or one area that you want to be highlighted, then you can just use the tool here in Annotations, Blur and Highlight, and then just take Spotlight. But this won't work if you want to have several different areas at the same time. So how to make that work? You insert a shape. For example, I've got this white rectangle in my favorites. So I add it to the timeline. And let's still add two more and resize them and move them to set my desired areas. And now I add one more shape and this one should cover the whole canvas. What I do now is I change the color and make it gray instead of white. You will see in a moment why this is helpful. And now I select all of them and press Ctrl G to group them. On macOS it's probably Command G or you could also use the context menu. And now all of these shapes are consolidated in this group. So here's the actual trick. On this track, the track of my grouped shapes, I right click on the eye and here I have the track matte mode. And here I'm gonna select luminosity. Forgive me if I pronounced that wrong. But anyway, now we have these three areas highlighted and the area around it is darkened. And you can already guess why it's darkened. That's because in our group, we have the lowest layer, which covers the whole canvas and it's gray. So because the luminance of the layers decides on the blending, we could also have it white and then it wouldn't have any visible overlay. Or if it's black, then the rest of the screen is hidden. This might be a common use case as well, but in my case, I want the rest of the screen to be visible, but slightly grayed out. So I choose this gray tone. And now you can still adjust the different layers. And if you like, you can also add corner rounding to get some smoother transitions. And what would actually be super cool would be a gradient from transparent to the actual background color. I really hope that Camtasia will add this in a future update. For now, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.